championship game? I'm all for more teams, whether that be 12 or 16. I've always been for more teams in a playoff, and here's the reason why. Chad, momentum is building for an eight-game college football playoff, and the report from CBS Sports uh, through Dennis Dodd was that expansion will likely be agreed upon soon, but it will not be in place for at least a couple of seasons. There are contracts and, and, and agreements to certain bowl games and television deals. We're going to see it jump up to eight at least. Would you like to see more? Would you like to see more teams involved? 12, 14, 16? Or do you think a gradual build to 12, 14, or 16 is better for college football? Because to me, eight, does it, if you told me eight teams were involved in the college football playoff versus the four that we've seen in recent years, it's still Alabama and Clemson they are going to win the national titles. Yeah. It's, and it's, well, look, it's, it's probably going to be that with 16 also because well, those teams are just so dominant. But I'm, I'm saying it, they, they won and advanced in many cases in blowouts Yeah, in the semis. Um, I may, you, you may have some more compelling middle-seeded matchups if you if – you, raise it to 12 teams or 14 teams. But the top seeds are going to crush these other matchups on the field whenever they play them. And you hope for well, one compelling national I, championship game. I, I'm all for more teams, whether that be 12 or 16. I, I've always been for more teams in a playoff. And here's the reason why. We've discussed a lot about the shifting goals of different programs in college football and how it's naive to think that everyone's out there playing for a national title. They're not. There's six to seven teams playing for a national title every year. That's what college football has become. The four-team playoff has added to that. There's really six or seven teams that have a legitimate shot going into every year. And there's different levels of goals for different levels of teams. MTSU and North Texas aren't going into a season thinking, guys, we're going to win the national title this year. But they are going into seasons thinking, we're going to win our conference, that's the goal, and we're going to go to a good bowl game. And that's fine. The Tennessees of the world right now, South Carolina, go through middling to below major conference programs. Yes. Iowa State even, even though they played for a, a national – just go down the list of those programs. They're playing for different things in Alabama, Clemson, and Ohio State also, and that's fine. But what a 16-team playoff does is it gives a lot more teams a chance to play for a playoff spot. Is the team that finishes 14th, 15th, or 16th ever going to win the national title in college football? Maybe not. I don't think they're good enough. I don't think any team past Alabama, Clemson, Ohio State, Oklahoma is going to be good enough in the near future. Maybe Georgia to, to win a national title. But you get to 14, 15, 16, we're not talking about teams that are going to win it all. But what we are talking about is renewed interest in 25 to 32 different programs and their fan bases into November, deeper into the season. Why does the NBA playoffs expand? Why does the NHL playoffs expand? Why does Major League Baseball always want to add playoff teams? It's because it keeps fan bases interested longer into the season. So if you give a fan base a carrot, and that carrot is if you finish in the top 16 nationally, this is doable now for a lot more programs. You can play in our big dance. You can play for a national title. That's a delicious carrot to put out there for a fan base. And because of that, when there's more interest, when there's renewed interest in teams, I think this is a good thing. I don't think it waters anything down, Hutton, simply because the teams that are the great teams right now are going to be there no matter what. It's going to end up in that Final Four of what you expect. But it gives you more compelling games and compelling reasons to tune in throughout the regular season and then into the playoff with more teams. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified every time Outkick 360 goes live. We are live weekdays, 11 a.m. Central, noon Eastern, right here across the Outkick Network. And while you're at it, like this video and let us know what you think in the comments below.